Okay, let me just add one note to the Realism and Anti-Realism 2 tutorial, namely on Plato. I put Plato here with the idealists, but with a question mark. Kant is an idealist and Hegel is also an idealist, but Plato, is he an idealist? And so that's a little bit tricky. Different philosophers have different opinions. Um, I tend to sympathize with, the, with calling him a realist. And why is that? Remember from the Plato tutorials, Plato believes that universals, namely not specific tables, but the general idea of what it means to be the table, exists as an idea in the world of ideas or the world of forms. And it's not just in the mind. Our mind has access through these ideas, through using, the, uh, through using our reason, but it's not just in our minds. So in that sense, he seems to be a realist. However, you could also make a case in a sense that he's an idealist. <clears throat> he does talk about ideas or forms, but that's just a word, one could say. But definitely, if you contrast idealism with materialism, Plato definitely seems, seems to be saying reality is something ideal rather than material. So he says you, you have the idea of what it means to be a table that is more real than all the specific tables and all the particular tables. In that sense, he's clearly an idealist rather than a materialist. But frankly, it's quite a different debate from the idealism debate as it is at, uh, in Kant and Hegel. Uh, there it's, it's not about universals. It's not really about the table as an abstract entity. It's about specific tables. That's just a small note.